All right, what's up, guys? I'm here at the house, and uh, as you can see, we got some snow. Uh, I don't know, between 8 and 10 inches, depending on where you're at with the drifts and stuff. I don't know, I figured, why not uh, see if the, how the TW does in the snow. I've seen some people try driving in pretty deep snow with the TW, so I'm not the first to do this, but I do have some experience riding bikes in the snow. Let's see how this thing goes. wig out as soon as I start driving. He likes riding on the CW, so. Oh my God. All right, bunch of roots right here so I mean <laughs> it's slippery for sure Dude, this is deep though. Holy shit. workout all right guys so as you can see tw was struggling so was i i'm pretty much out of breath but yeah it did not it did not like the snow that much don't believe everything you see i guess it did okay in the tr in the ruts. Once you got in the rut, it kind of wanted to move. What's the matter? You wanted to ride? 
It's too snowy. It won't move. Yeah, as you can see, a little too deep for the TW. So I guess like worst case scenario, if you had to move in the snow, I guess it'll do it. It's kind of cool. You can see like the sidewall, how it has knobs. It's a grip in the side of the snow. You know, one wheel can only do so much, really. I was getting right down to the grass, and it was just... I mean, you can just see it's pretty much ice. It went down the hill fine, and then when I came up the hill, it just no chance. I would have to walk it, so... But once the ruts were formed, it was kind of driving in the ruts a little bit. Hey, are you throwing snow at me? Hey. Would have been cool if it was actually riding around. Maybe if it was like four inches less snow, it probably would have. It's pretty deep snow. I mean, this is snowmobile snow. <laughs> eight, eight to nine inches, so. Check out my RC videos, guys. So I got some new videos up in the snow with my forerunner.